Hi there, my name is Noreen Hughes and I'm the Head of English and Literacy Coordinator at Bradford Girls Grammar School. Just wanted to take this opportunity to um, talk to you about ways that you can support your daughter's literacy and especially for us to promote this reading for pleasure culture that we want in our school. And um, so I want to start with some research. It's really important reading for pleasure. Lots of research suggests it's important both educationally as well as for personal development. We also have it being a really good indicator of a child's educational success. Um, so we know that it's important for vocabulary, but it's also got substantial links to improvements with mathematics. So it's linked to that kind of learning process and cognitive process. So that's just some research to explain why it's so important. Reading for pleasure at BGGS, we make sure that it's really given a lot of importance. We have a library lesson once every two weeks, but students are expected to read for at least 20 minutes a day. The library is open before and after school, and year sevens can use the library on a Monday and a Wednesday. There are extracurricular book groups. I also want to launch a parental and staff book group. Um, and I'm hoping that some of you respond to an email that's coming out towards the end of this week, encouraging people to get involved in that. So, so we could be role models really for reading. <clears throat> Girls have, in Key Stage 3, they take part in the Accelerated Reader Programme. And this includes three STAR tests that they do throughout the year. A STAR test gives us an indication of their reading age and ability and gives them a ZPD, which means it gives them a range of books that they can read that are in their level. Um, you will be able to see that ZPD because students have recorded their ZPD range and their username and their password in their planners. And you can actually log on using the website address here. You can log on to Home Connect and you can use your daughter's username and password and you can log on and see their progress. So how do we encourage reading for pleasure at home? by modelling it, reading for pleasure, talking to them about books that you are reading, checking reading homework is being done, 20 minutes a day, and part of the AR system is that we make sure that they are doing quizzes after they've read a book. They can do these at home or at school, and they need to make sure that they're doing that regularly. Because it is a homework, there are consequences if they are not completing those quizzes quizzes. We're not forcing them to read books that are AR books, but we make sure that we have conversations with the students about what they're reading and why um, they may, may not have been quizzing. There are some students who are already word millionaires, which means the AR system tells us how many words they have read and it's over a million already. You can help, like I said, by connecting to Home Connect, using your daughter's username and password. And you can also help with finding um, books on the AR Book Finder. It gives them a range of books to read and you can use the search function to put in their ZPD range. It may be that you've got a bookworm or you might have a reluctant reader. And if you do have a reluctant reader who says reading is boring, um, I can't stand reading, you haven't found the right book yet. Some girls say to me, but all the books in the library are boring, miss. And I remind them that they have not started reading every single one of those books. That old phrase, don't judge a book by its cover. We've got fantastic um, new stock in our library which we've really invested in to make sure that we've got a really good range of books for students to read um, but there is that fine line between encouraging reading for pleasure and forcing students to read because it's homework we want them to be able to find those 
good books that they enjoy. And so that is something that maybe you can have a conversation with them about. Because we do at school, but it'd be great to have that message doubled up. <clears throat> Other ideas, audiobooks are good if you have readers who aren't very keen. Uh, research shows that they can boost reading skills, enjoyment, mental well-being, emotional intelligence. Um, stories together as a family can be a really good way to encourage reading. There are lots of free audiobooks out there. Um, so that's something that you could consider if that's um, an idea that interests you. Other ideas are podcasts. There's some great podcasts out there. Um, ones in particular that are good are rebelgirls.com forward slash podcast, inspirational stories about real life women, and also the Radio Lab Kids is great. Listening to podcasts together can be a really good way of encouraging literacy. Studies show that children love talking to their family about podcasts they've listened to and sharing a podcast together might be great too. Um, lots of them are really high quality and they can ac be accessed really easily. So I suppose the message from me is to please encourage your daughter to continue reading for pleasure at home. Remind them that they should be reading for 20 minutes a day. That doesn't have to be um, 20 minutes religiously every day. You know, they could read for an hour um, or more, you know, and it could be spaced out throughout the week. But that idea of regular quizzing and for you to model that reading, encourage them to talk about books, listen to things together, read things together, and it would be great if you could take part in our book group, which we're going, there'll be details coming out to you in an email very soon. Thank you so much for listening.